Here we go. Here's my socks. Sock dudes. So I'm just doing stuff I want. That's probably four or five in the morning, you know. I already went to bed, got up, been up for hours. It's almost time for me to go back to bed. We're bringing his phone back. <laughs> got my phone right there, the other phone. <laughs> Looking good, the calves. We did a little bit of warm ups a little bit ago. Last video. I was repelling the, uh, the, um, Dominic's mask, Dominic male, uh, masculine type of person. Not, not my masculine, dominant masculine that bullies our kids <laughs> to like go to the gym and shit like that. When they're just perfectly fine, it's soft hard. Not everyone, not every man is meant to be the gym rock hard and so some are soft cuddly and soft there's nothing wrong with being chubby or cuddly and soft and kind-hearted to women and loving and kind and showing your emotions and being sweet i know a lot of nice people like that you know i'll put some nice tips but yeah uh, that doesn't mean they have to be you know change themselves be hard or whatever be soft, kind-hearted, and, and relax, and have enjoy their you know enjoy their jobs or enjoy whatever they're doing. So yeah, I I release the uh, resentment I have because now I understand it. It's their father, or their mother, or their father, or their parents. Uh, bully them, scream at them, yell at them, awful treatment. I, I kind of can relate. <laughs> So, yeah, so they project their frustration onto me. I'm too old. I'm a senior compared to, you know what I mean? Well, I'm not really a senior. I'm 48, but in order for these 20 or 30 year olds to get through their head, I have to say that I'm a senior, so they'll stop with the uh, loop, with the matrix thoughts. Because you are good enough. If you're soft and cuddly and chubby, you are good enough. You are good enough to fall in love one day, get a good wife or a husband or whatever. You're good enough if you don't want to get married one day. You're good enough, if, you know, if you're divorced and you want to start again, you know. So, you're always good enough. Unless you, you know, hurt other people and stuff. And, Maybe change your ways. But anyway, I'm going to have uh, some Slim Jim. This is the only gym I want to have is some Slim Jim. You know, you don't want to shove people's beliefs down their back, down their throat, your beliefs down their throat. That's what causes a generational curse. Talk about generational curse. You know, that causes insecurities. I get it now. That causes generational narcissist or uh, reactive abuse. I can see it happen to one of my friends. It's very sad, really. Anyway, eat, I'm not gonna eat this. Listen, I will chat. I hit my socks like that. <laughs> So good. So we have my gym. <laughs> I heard my song. Mmm. So good. And don't worry who I'm talking about. I'm not going to answer you. <laughs> I just have to let it out. So I can not hold on to any resentment. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
That's good. Keep me doing. A nice cold drink. <clears throat> and I know the sun wants to do what I'm doing. Enjoy the summer. Sit back in the bed, have a cold drink, make videos. Yeah. Whatever. I'm not going to control other people. <laughs> Gotta just control myself. Let it go. Let their, their problems is their problems, not my problems. Let me have some more. Plus, when they walked away from me, they made their own karma. I can't help them from it. But all they got to do is speak up to their father or mother and say, no, I don't, I want to enjoy the summer. You know. Go to the gym and work out by yourself. Don't have the parents on your back. Don't talk to them. <laughs> Go into the Zumba class or something while dad or mom is riding a bike. Just to get on your nerves. Whatever. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ooh, this looks so good. I'm so blessed. <laughs> I need these kind of things and lose weight. Just by my medications. Mm. Look at that one. Popcorn and talk. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing. My bite. <laughs> I gotta give Herman his phone back so <laughs> off bite. Mmm. That was fun. Mm-mm. -mm. It's already dead. It doesn't believe in subliminals and believes everything on the TV and the radio in the matrix. Slamming his beliefs on us kids, but what are you gonna do? It's not our problem. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Bye bye.